are so many indie games with horrible looking sculpts. I don't want to be like that. I want to learn how to sculpt something amazing. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to learn it in seven days. <laughs> So, is this even possible? Learning such a complicated skill that requires years of practicing and studying in a week? Well, let me quote the famous sculptor Michelangelo. <clears throat> Genius is eternal patience. And fuck ZBrush. So there are a lot of different software. You could say the two most well known are ZBrush and Blender. ZBrush versus Blender. Should I, should I start this discussion? <gasps> So learning seabirds in seven days, impossible. You're better off learning quantum physics in seven days. To start sculpting your seabirds, you grab your pen, do two backflips, a corkscrew, 25 pushups, just so you can start. And guess what? The menu is in alphabetical order. Whose idea was this? Not a single software in the world does this. Every software ever has file on the top left. Photoshop, Word, f***ing Paint even. I sincerely believe this software was developed for aliens or wizards. Uh, so I'm using Blender, not biased. And honestly, if you really prefer Seabirds, all you need to do in Blender is just click a couple buttons and it's practically the same. Haha. <laughs> On a serious note, even though I love hating on Seabirds, I guess right now for professionals, it's more um, powerful than Blender. If you want to become an industry professional and if you want to work with like really extreme amounts of detail, Seabirds might be a better choice for now. But if you don't have too crazy ambitions, I'd say Blender is more easy and fun to learn. And it's free. And you bet people still make the sickest shit in Blender. But yeah, no hard truths here. It's your choice. So first, I'm setting more specific goals. What does it mean to have learned sculpting? Does this mean you have learned sculpting? Or this? Or this? This. The truth is, you're never done learning sculpting. You can spend 30 years practicing and be the best in the world and still have stuff to learn or do even better. But if I can make something presentable, something I would consider nice, in seven days, well, at the moment, I know literally nothing, I consider this video a success. My goal, recreate my profile picture and banner in 3D and way cooler. This is a drawing I made years ago. I redrew it recently, but I still struggle with drawing because I never do it. I guess that's another video. So I want to sculpt a nice upper body of a male cyborg with a laser gun arm, a hoodie and other clothing details. In seven days. Let's go! <laughs> So the only thing I ever sculpted in my life is this heart. Literally just a simple S shape, but I was having trouble either way. I only managed to get it right after using direct reference, but it means I know the absolute basics of Blender sculpting. So a lot of people always recommend starting with an alien head because there are no rules with alien head. You can freely f*** around. So I finished my alien head and I thought it was okay for a first ever sculpt and I tried giving it hair uh, and I decided to never look at it ever again. But I did make a head, so I was officially ready to make the character I want. Since my heart only went well after using reference, I'm just gonna use human reference and everything will be easy well and it looks uh but you don't even see his body anyway because i'm gonna add clothing a simple tutorial told me it was kind of doable i was doing kind of okay until i wanted to add folds and you know actually make it look nice and uh I, I realized i don't know how to yet i spent the whole day trying to get something nice but i couldn't i was too impatient would have been something if i actually learned this in one day Okay, so I wake up and this is him I recommended. It. It's like the algorithm is trying to talk to me. I mean, this, this. So after watching this video and experiencing yesterday, a couple takeaways. I'm still lacking technical skill. I thought using reference directly was a good thing, but it's not. Directly trying to match something with reference is a way of ignoring the fact that I don't know how to scope. This is where my real lack of skill starts showing. I have to face it. I suck. First, I need to improve my technical skill and I'm just going to do a follow along tutorial for a more advanced alien head. See what tips and tricks I got out of that. I started learning modeling with follow along too which helped me actually pretty well especially when i started trying to apply the things i learned on my own models so i had a pretty good time following along came across a lot of little things that helped me work more comfortably move around easier etc which actually makes sculpting easier and instead of exactly following the tutorial i noticed my alien looks a little sad so i just went with that and there we go it's definitely better than the alien i made yesterday so cool now i'm more comfortable with the tools i'm going into learning anatomy I have postponed learning anatomy for a year. Last year, I've become pretty comfortable with making lifeless assets and houses and whatever, which often look fine with different proportions. Uh, but humans quickly don't look like humans anymore if you don't understand anatomy. Studying anatomy is a time consuming process. And I'm more of a, I learned it in seven days kind of guy. Some years ago, I bought a book about anatomy drawing and I always thought, well, I'm gonna do this sometime. And today is the perfect day to put it back in the bookcase for later. I will do it someday. There are a hundred ways to learn anatomy. My first attempt will be to try sculpting an upper body with reference on the side, not directly tracing it, but have it on the side. So I have to recreate it while really understanding the shapes. So after this new practice, I will have totally learned anatomy.
and I ended up with this. Yeah, I still did a lot of things wrong, uh, but I feel like I'm making steps. I spent half a day and I made a human. That, that's actually an alien in disguise who's trying to fit in. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so little time skip. It's quite a few weeks later, actually. That's because, fun fact, I learned 3D animation in 7 days and I made a game based on real heart rate. Spoiler, those are my next videos. But because of that, I didn't have time to continue. What? What? You're saying the 7 days are now over? I never said the 7 days had to be in the same week. I'm still on day 3. Uh, next up, I'm giving this guy a t-shirt without it glitching through his chest. So I spent hours f***ing around and I learned a couple things about sculpting clothing. I should only start adding detail once I'm really sure about the base shape. Because when I thought I was done with the shape, I started adding detail and I realized his sleeves are way too long for a normal t-shirt, but way too short for a long sleeve. So what the fuck what kind of shirt is this? Uh, another thing is that reference from different angles is really important. Because what I made now only kind of works from one side. So yeah, obviously this ain't right. But I learned a lot. I understand the process a bit better now uh, i think the problem is i need to actually learn how and why clothing folds and i need to stop trying to just copy lines some people might say why not just use a cloth simulator for people who don't know it's when blender simulates the cloth for you like you would expect from the name well i'm trying to learn sculpting not try to cheat my way into a good result if you really want to become good at something there are no shortcuts <laughs> So I found this in-depth video about folds and I just started watching it and I was amazed by how much I was learning and I started grabbing paper and actually making notes and I was learning so much that the holy shit all folds I see around me now make sense. I was staring at people outside just looking at their folds, probably scaring them. I'm really excited to put this to the test. I realized something. The way I feel about folds now, I don't feel at all about anatomy. I sculpted an upper body from reference, but I don't know any muscles or what the f I'm doing. I didn't want to look at the fact that I have to learn anatomy properly. It just seems like so much work. But I guess it's important. Sure, my character can have nice clothing, but if his body is doing fucking weird things, what's the point? So I'm going to be watching some videos about anatomy. So I was hoping there was a similar style video just explaining all I need to know about anatomy in 40 minutes or something and that be it. Turns out it just it just don't work like that. I watched a lot of videos of people pretty much helping me realize I don't know shit, but I did learn some basics that will really help me out make at least a decent basic human shape but there's so much I still need to learn. People all around me are always like yeah I'm studying anatomy next couple months and I used to think why? Dude look into a mirror! Boom, right anatomy, right there, done. Oh, how stupid can I be? I was really doubting this, but I did it. I, I bought the book everybody can shut the fuck up about. Uh, you know, if you're not good at something, just buy more books. So my goal was seven days, but clearly actually learning anatomy well and have full complete knowledge about the human body and all muscles. Maybe isn't possible in seven days. Can med students even do this? But that wasn't my goal for the seven days in the first place. I want to make one nice scope. How hard can it be? This book will arrive next week, so after this video, I'll just continue my study, really spend a lot of time, not just seven days, to keep improving. Maybe next year, I can upload a video, I became an expert in one year. Or, or maybe it's gonna be how I wasted a year of my life, don't know yet. But for now, it's time. The final challenge of this video. I'm making my character in 3D. For proper reference, I put on somewhat similar clothes and made pictures from every angle. Actually, in this rare situation, this character is pretty much my body type. I also made pictures of my upper body. I'm not really comfortable showing this on YouTube. Okay, if you really want to see it, okay, well, here you go. But it's already getting out of late and I haven't even sculpted anything today. But I did learn some basics about anatomy. I'm really going all out here trying to make something that looks nice with the knowledge I have right now. So for the special occasion, copying references allowed. Mainly for the base shape because that's the part that can easily ruin the entire scope right now. There are two sides to this whole reference thing. On one hand, the goal is just to get a nice end result, right? So however you manage that, doesn't really matter if you made a nice sculpt in the end. But if I want to make way better sculpts in the future, I need to practice without directly copying reference. But yeah, if reference helps me get to a nice result, I have a nice result. So... Yeah, I started working on the eyes and I realized the character I'm making doesn't have eyes like that. Why do I forget that this this is my character? I started with his body trying to use everything I know about anatomy so far. I, I don't know how I feel about this. I quickly learned a nice easy way to make hair, which looked pretty nice. I learned a little basic hard surface sculpting for the laser gun. Both topics I really want to get more into later, but I'm good on my way actually making something presentable for once. So now I have his body, a gun and some hair. It was time 
to make clothes. This is also the first time I was trying to use all of the new knowledge I have about folds, but this still took a lot of time. Actually, way more than the body took. I thought I knew all about folds, but I still, of course, had to practice. So after spending half a day trying to get this right, I, I just couldn't. I was struggling so much, I decided to completely start over with the clothes. By the way, first while sculpting this, I had the great idea to just make the whole thing in an A pose, this default pose, and put it in whatever pose afterwards with a simple rig, like I learned during the 3D animation video. Next video! <coughs> but I decided to try this with what I have right now, because it would be pretty f***ing sh** if I made this whole character, and I can't put it in the pose I want. Moving the body was doable, but the clothes just wouldn't move along. I spent hours trying to figure out how to rig a character with clothes and how that would even work and I found out there are a lot of completely different methods I would have to learn from scratch so long story short let's not do it this way I just put the body in the pose I want and since I was starting over with the clothes anyway I was just sculpting the clothes from scratch in the right pose which makes way more sense also regarding folds because they look differently depending on the pose obviously this time I searched for a lot of pictures of pants to really get proper reference and I really feel like this time went way better until I started with the hoodie which was definitely the hardest part. I want it oversized, which is way harder than tight shirts because the sculpt becomes way more dependent on the clothing and the folds. I spent a lot of hours fucking around till it became pretty late again and I went to sleep. So last day, I'm left with a not very good looking hoodie, but the pants are good enough. So let's go. Okay, so I guess this is it. I spent so many hours looking at this. I don't know how to feel about it anymore. I still have half a day left. So I'll add some lights and materials and render it. And ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm really happy. I could add more details and there are things I wanna do better, but you know, I'm tired and I'm pretty happy. I came a long way from day one. At some point, I didn't think I could do it. I kinda can't believe this. I feel completely different about my sculpting skills. I'm actually really excited to go in depth into anatomy with my new book and make more detailed clothing and going more in depth into materials and texturing. One thing I also really wanna figure out how to go about either cloth physics in game or sculpting folds in a way they fit with rigs and animations. But uh, those are things for later. By the way, if you have recommendations for me and tips on how to study and become better let me know for now i'm pretty happy with this result thanks so much for watching i'm gonna be learning a lot of shit stupidly little amount of time i'm gonna be making games and doing all kinds of shit so subscribe hit the bell bye bye